Good morning everybody, welcome to another little mini sewed series. So, first of all, my name is Alex, I will leave all the information about where you can find me in the description box below this video. I just want it, well, let's start this properly. I have been itching to make some DK weight socks and I have never had much success. Um, when I knit regular socks, four ply socks, I cast on 64 stitches, I use a 2.5mm needle, I've honed my recipe to just how I like it and my socks turn out fabulous every single time. If you can hear any noise in the background, I will just say it's Harry's weekend this weekend, so we have Harry this weekend and he's dancing and singing. <laughs> um, so yeah... When it comes to DK weight socks, I have never had much success. I follow, well, I've only made two pairs, let's be honest first. Let's get that out of the way, first of all. Um, and what I've found was I followed recipes, used a 3.25 needle as what's recommended in the recipes that I've seen. And I'm a very, very tight knitter and I've, I'm just not keen on the density of the fabric that creates my other problem that I have is I do not like socks too tight. I like them to just fit, so no negative ease at all. They just fit nicely. It's a sensory thing. That's just how I like them. So what I've found with DK weight socks, the previous two pairs that I've made, is they're just too tight. So... I decided to try again, mainly because this time in the shop update we have got some DK weight yarn. I dyed a skein up just for me. So this is some DK weight yarn. I did do two of these. There's one going into the shop on the 1st of May. So this is DK weight yarn, 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon, just for socks. So I really, really wanted to try it. So I have messed about this morning, something chronic, and I thought, do you know what? I'm actually going to vlog this because if I'm finding it tricky to get a DK weight recipe, then maybe other people are as well. Maybe, you know, you'll get something from this video. If one person gets something from this video, then it was a success. Um, I don't know how it's going to go because I'm kind of winging this as I go along. So I have 100 grams of DK weight yarn. I plan on doing cuffs and toes with fing no, yeah, cuffs and toes with fingering weight yarn held double. So I am currently on a cuff. So I'm using 3.25 millimeters. No, I'm not. I'm using 3.5 millimeter needles. And first of all, I cast on 48 stitches, which is the standard recipe that I've seen, and they were too big. So I was trying to keep the um, stitch count to a multiple of four for each needle because I'm doing magic loop so I could have my two by two ribbon. So I went down to 20 stitches, so 40, 40 stitches, which is 20 on each needle and they were too small. So I have gone into the middle. So I have cast on 44 stitches, so I've got 22 stitches on each needle on a 3.5. Now, I still could have done 2x2 two two ribbon, but then I just thought, actually, 1x1 one one ribbon is much stretchier. So I've gone for 1x1 one one ribbon. Um, and I think this is the correct size for me. So I am just going to go ahead and do the cuff. I don't know how long I'm going to do the cuff yet. I'm going to see how long it is at 12 rounds and then take it from there. But I'll come back when I've done the cuff. I've still got this yarn to wind up as well. And anyway, I'll let you know how I get on. But that's where we're at now. So... If you're following along with me, I have a 3.5 millimetre needle and I have cast on 44 stitches. When I've done this, I will write the recipe in the description box below that I've sort of done. But this could go really bad. 
I am going to vlog it, even if it goes terribly wrong, I'm still going to vlog it and let you know how I've got on and maybe you'll learn something, <laughs> learn not to do something that I've done. But yeah, there we go. I'm on with the cuff. I'll be back. I've done the cuff. Right, so here's the cuff. I'm really pleased with it. It turned out to be 11 rounds. So I just measured the cuff from, this is one of my regular vanilla socks still all nice and fresh because i'm saving it for the podcast next weekend um so i haven't worn it yet but i've just measured um the cuff off this sock so i get it how more or less how i wanted it so that is the cuff done and now i'm gonna go in to the knitting i have my yarn caked up i'm really really impressed with that yarn and I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the cuff. I'm going to knit on a, a four-ply sock. I do 40 rounds. So I'm just going to knit until I get the same length because that's going to help me when it comes to the foot. When I knit a foot on um, four-ply yarn, I know to do either 54 or 56 rounds. 54 is my preferred number of rounds but I can get away with 56 if I'm doing a pattern that you know you've got so many rows in a pattern repeat to do so if I my thinking is this is my thinking if I knit the leg this leg to the same length of that leg and I know that is 40 rounds however many rounds this is I can kind of work out how many rounds I'm going to need for my foot I am going to measure it as well but it's just extra security also you all know I always do the shadow wrap peel I don't think this is going to work on a DK weight sock I am going to do a little bit of research to see if anybody else has done the shadow wrap peel I'm talking really quick because the washing machine started spinning. I'm going to have to pause it. Yeah, I'm going to do some research to see if anybody else has done DK socks with the shadow wrap heel. I think I did it before. I'm certain I did. I'm going to have to go back. You see, at that point on Ravelry, I wasn't keeping um, project notes on Ravelry, so I didn't even write it down. Um... I do prefer the shadow wrap heel to the heel flap and gusset. It's just my preferred, but if I need to do the heel flap and gusset, then I will do the heel flap and gusset. I'm just going to see what happens when I get to that stage. Also, I have no idea how much yarn I'm going to use. Oh, well, let's, let's just weigh it. I've knit four stitches there, but let's just weigh the yarn so we know... This is the yarn that I sell in the shop and it always tends to be more than what it says. So this is supposed to be 100 grams. I bet it's more. It's actually 108 grams. So I know how much I've got. So I need to not use any more than 54 grams of yarn for this first sock. But I'm itching to see how this yarn's going to knit up as well so I'm gonna knit away on the leg I'll come back when I've got a few rounds in and show you how I'm getting on I think I've got the needle size right now it's all looking good so far it's all looking good but we'll see this could go like I say drastically wrong let's just see and the other thing is the other DK weight socks that I've knit I've never found overly comfortable <laughs> and I'm gonna say it I'm gonna be totally honest I never have I found them just not very comfortable but I don't know if that's because like I say I'm a really tight knitter and the fabric was over dense so that could have been the reason I don't plan on wearing them in shoes but I do get really cold feet my feet get so cold that I do suffer with chill blains so DK weight socks is something that would really benefit me um so yeah I'm gonna knit away and I'll be back in a bit so I've done a few rows let me pull the camera a bit closer and this is how it's looking so far oh, I really like the yarn as well what I found is holding the four ply yarn double is much thicker than DK weight yarn which 
actually is really nice because this cuff is so squishy it's lovely um but yeah so i'm just knitting away now down the leg and they're actually so quick to knit they really are mind you there's only 44 stitches isn't there so <laughs> they are going to be quick but yeah i'm just knitting away and i'm just going to play each section by ear and see what happens when i get there I need to have a look into whether or not I think the shadow wrap heel will work as well because I am sure I did it on the first pair of socks that I made but if it doesn't it doesn't that's fine but yeah I'm really enjoying them so far the the test though will be at the end just to see how comfortable they are because that's the problem that I've had I've made, like I say, two pairs of DK weight socks and I don't wear any of them. So we shall just see. I'm going to knit away. It's half past ten in the morning. It's the weekend. I've got the whole weekend to sit and play with these socks. We don't have many plans this week. Well, we do have a few plans, but nothing major. So I'll have lots of time for knitting over this weekend. And yeah we shall see but i'm really really liking the yarn i'll say this here because <laughs> this is a new yarn for the shop so this is dk weight yarn i have dyed it in four ply as well but the colorway i have no idea what i'm going to call it but the colorway is actually inspired by um a program that i've been watching on discovery plus which is the Aussie Gold Hunters. I have been absolutely addicted to it over the past few weeks and really loved it. So this is where these colours have come from. It's the sort of rust off the machinery and the blue from the waters of the rivers. Um, obviously, I can't call the yarn Aussie Gold Hunters. I have no idea what I'm going to call it, but that's where the colourway is inspired from. Right, I'm going to see if I can get on and finish this leg and then we'll decide what kind of heel we're going to put into these socks. I hope you're all enjoying this. I'm having a great time. Right, where are we up to? Okay, so I've done the leg. Oh, doesn't it look beautiful? I really like it. I've ended up doing 20, it will be 28. I'm just about to put the shadow wrap heel in. So I will have done 28 rounds for the leg which is the same length as this one. Um, and I did some research. Yes, you can do a shadow wrap heel on DK weight socks. And I managed to find my own Ravelry page where I stated that, yes, you can do a shadow wrap peel. Memory like a sieve. I had no recollection of that. I've done a whole Ravelry page on it. So I'm going to put the shadow wrap heel in. I'm using fingering weight yarn held double. That was the cuff. I don't have enough to do heels, toes and cuffs out of this. So the heels, I've got some Cascade Heritage in black. They're not going to match perfectly. Oh no, I've just dropped that. Hang on. Oops. But I'm not bothered about them matching perfectly. That's fine. So I'm going to do the shadow wrap heel. Um... I've got less stitches on the needles than the first time I made a DK weight sock because I did 48 stitches for that one. But I will have done um, eight twin stitches on each side. So I'm going to do eight twin stitches on each side of the shadow wrap heel and have six normal stitches in the middle. So I think it'll still work. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to absolutely go for it. So far, I am so impressed. I haven't tried it on yet. And I also found out by going back to my own project notes on Ravelry that, oops, bring that back up. I did 45 rounds of the foot and I could have done with adding a couple more rounds. Now, I'm using bigger needles this time because I had used 3.25 needles um, so I'm going to check it at 45 rounds on the foot. But yeah, super quick. Absolutely super quick. This is just, I'm blinking, it's knit. It's that quick. 
Um, but I'm just going to carry on. I'm really enjoying it so far. The, the proof will be at the end when it comes to actually wearing this sock. I'm just going to move that marker down onto there. That's my extra round put in. Trim this yarn off. If anybody always wonders how much to trim yarn off when you're doing socks, right? This is how I always do it. I always let the yarn fall to the end of the needle and cut it there. And I always find that it's just enough yarn to weave in. A little bit of useless information for you there. How much yarn have I used? So I've done the leg now. And that's Harry if you can hear him. <laughs> right, where are we? Come on, turn on. Ooh. Hang on, I don't let me get it on the on the table where it's flat. I don't think that is correct. Yes, it is correct. I've hardly used any yarn. I've got 99 grams left. So I've hardly used anything. I've used nine grams. So I can probably get two pairs of socks out of this. I thought that I'd I could have done the heel in that. I've cut it off now. Well, I don't matter, I can still do the heel. I could have done the heel in that. I might do the heel. Because that's, I've hardly used anything. I've used nine grams out of that. I thought DK weight yarn took loads. Oh well, right, okay, well I might do the heel in this then. I might do that. I've cut it, but it doesn't matter, I can just weave the ends in. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Right, I'm going to get on, do the heel. Mmm, I just love this yarn, it looks so nice. It kind of has got like a watercolour effect going on, can you see it? Can you see, isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. No idea what I'm going to call it. But it's beautiful. Right, crack on, do the heel. I'll be back in a bit. So, looks like I've not moved all day, doesn't it? <laughs> I really have. But the heel is done. So, I did do the shadow wrap heel. Oh, my word. So cool. The heel is in. I did eight twin stitches on either side of six normal stitches in the middle. I did play around with, do I do seven or do I do eight twin stitches? But I went for eight and I think I've got it just right. So they are feeling really, really nice. They're nice and stretchy. And I am, fingers crossed, hopeful I may have got my DK sock recipe down. <laughs> So now all I've got to do is mosey on down the leg. I'm going to knit 40 rounds. I'm going to have a good measure at 40 rounds because I don't want to knit too many then have to pull back. Let's wear the yarn to see how much yarn I used on that heel because that'll be interesting to know. 92 and I had 99 so it used... Seven, couldn't work that out. That was really hard maths, wasn't it? Seven grams of yarn on the heel. So more yarn on the heel than I actually thought. I thought it had been about four, but no, seven grams. So if you've got a 20 gram DK mini, two heels is going to take you 14 grams. So you probably wouldn't be able to do heels, toes and cuffs. You'd have to... I don't know. Figure it out. So I'm just going to knit now for 40 rounds. I am watching um, <laughs> Aussie Gold Hunters on the TV while I knit. This is what the yarn was inspired by, this TV show. Still don't know what I'm going to call it. Cannot call it Aussie Gold Hunters. <laughs> it's just all the colours of the machinery and oh, it's just so cool. So cool. This is what these socks are going to remind me of. So yeah, I'm just going to knit away now. I'll keep measuring up to my other sock to make sure I get the, the yarn right, the length right even. And I'll probably come back 
when I've finished because you don't need to see it after the end of the foot and then me telling you I'm just going to put the toe in. Um, so I'll probably come back when I've finished the sock now. But no, I've had a lot of fun doing this. It is amazing how quick DK weight socks are. That heel took me 20 minutes. Not even that, I don't think. So I may even have this sock finished today if I get... I've got a few jobs to do. I've got a load of washing on the line and now the clouds have really come in. It's not supposed to rain today, but it looks like it's going to. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. But we'll see how far I get. Right, I'll be back. Let you know my progress. So it's the next day and I will show you how I got on with the socks. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh my word, look at those. So I finished them. Uh, they were so quick to knit. They really were. I finished the first one at tea time yesterday and I had the heel, the first part of the sock and the heel done by the end of last night. So I just had to finish the sock this morning. But I am so pleased. So first question, how much yarn do I have left? This is my yarn that I've got left. I have weighed it and I've got 50 grams exactly left. So I used 58 grams. So for my recipe, let me just lower you down. You seem very high up there. For my recipe for the DK weight socks, I can do a little bit more on the leg. I was very concerned with me doing cuff down how much yarn I was going to use. It's very difficult to judge when you're doing cuff down. So... For future reference, I would add maybe another 10 rounds to the leg and see how much yarn that uses. I would keep the contrasting toes and cuffs and I just think they look amazing. So, second question, will I make them again? Definitely, absolutely, definitely. This, These fit me like an absolute dream. They really do. And going up the needle size to a 3.5 has made all the difference in the fabric. I'll take them off the blocker to show you. They are, it's a bit difficult to tell, but they are so much drapier than that really dense fabric that I was getting with a 3.25 needle. So overall, really, really happy. So I think going forward, I would add an extra 10 rounds to the leg. I'm going to write all my numbers down in the description box. So if you want to have a go at making some DK weight socks, you've got some numbers to go off there. And I will put where I would add more, which would be on the leg. But oh yeah, I'll be making more. These are just lovely. And I am beyond pleased with them. So I am going to put these on today <laughs> because my feet are freezing. It's quite nice outside. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I'm going to put them on now while I'm chatting to you. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice day outside. But my feet are like little icicles. They always are. So I will pop them on and then I will show you with them on my feet. You'll have to excuse when I'm wearing knitted socks that I always wear them over my jeans. I always do. So I will show you what these look like. Hang on. There we go. Gorgeous socks. They fit like an absolute dream. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you got something out of that. I will be making many more DK weight socks. If you want to use the same yarn, that I have used that will be going into the shop on the 1st of May and I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day so thank you for joining me everybody and I'll see you on the next video bye bye